those of you who have made their sites most of you have made the site actually because when we had worked on genomio thing so 80 percent of you had said that we have uh, done the work you can share your screen of your laptop and demonstrate what are the things you have done till now and the assignment was if you remember the assignment was adding four things to a particular topic one was a page then it was adding a document then it was adding a url the moment i say document i mean to say the activity or the resource is called file after the url it was in assignment so these four things you people if you have done or you have done something else now we will be looking at the work done by others rather than taking the questions so please note this thing in mind i may question you you can also share some questions but i wish that you share the things you have done now dr shrinivas rao is sharing the screen the next one can put it in the chat that i want to share so that no one else like at one time two people will not share the screen yes sir now this looks fabulous indeed great very nice sir good you have done class management now you have moved on to assessment and evaluation uh, you can switch on your mic also should i say that you have organized the quiz like you have made a quiz here or it is yet to be made uh, yes sir uh, your quiz there is a quiz inside like you already tried it Oh, good, 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 good. Seems like you knew how to make the quiz. Okay. Good. Like you, someone tried and it was finished also. Reattempt is also there. Very good. Like it seems you had allowed the person to reattempt it. The time limit is also given by you. Very good. So there are seven questions, it seems. Very nice. And, uh, you have willingly put uh, i guess one question on each page because there is an option that you can bring four questions on a page and five so it's good sir nice sir and uh, you, i guess you also know that there are fill in the blanks or drag and drop options also in the quiz i request everyone because one of our colleagues because you know about it so if i'm not able to take the queries of someone in the hands-on session they can come bring their questions to you so i'm going to expand my team today very nice sir very short answer yes you can open this good attempt the quiz nice okay uh, your voice is your voice is not clear actually Yes, sir. There is some noise coming okay. either from your mic or someone else. Uh, less audible, sir. Uh, now, like you can uh, short answer. Now, I when I was working on this short answer thing, I noted that we have to give those options. Like we give them two, three options that these are the alternatives yes yes so it is not in a way see open-ended like you are providing possible identical answers to these so short answer is explanatory you give them open-ended you say options but you feed the answers beforehand very nice sir i'm glad that you have done it i'm, I'm really glad And I guess you are, your assignment is quite near completion. Uh, can I see the announcement segment? Okay, very nice. You have made a chat room and you have placed a thing about questions also. Uh, this is the introductory question we can say. Very nice. You know, uh, those of us have done B.Ed. or M.Ed. 
or have undergone some training of education there is a thing called previous knowledge testing so this is a very nice thing sir introducing the lesson is done through announcement so this goes a very good way thank you thank you uh, we can move on to other participant presentation otherwise you will keep on seeing me only <coughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Sir. Uh, so this is Tapan Hotta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as for your guideline yesterday, I have created a course on engineering thermodynamics. Yes. Yeah. So first you can see the announcement for the students. It is there. And uh, so I have created a, a chat room and there. one is a chat room mm -hmm. where the students can add their comments, suggestions, as well as feedback about the course. Right. Uh, then I have created a forum where they can raise their question and answers. Very nice. And about the course. Very nice, sir. Good going. Then, then I have created four chapters, sir. Chapter one is basically the introduction to thermodynamics. Uh, okay. There I have created again uh, four sub chapters. Mm -hmm. The first one will be the topics to be covered in the chapter one. If mm -hmm. you click mm -hmm. there. You can see that the following topics will be discussed in the chapter one. Okay, we are a fair idea about what right, right, sir, right, sir. Very good. So then after after this one, I have I have shared some of my own materials, so the classroom mm -hmm. materials. Very good. Uh, there is a PDF you have and uploaded. Yeah, I very nice. A PDF, so yeah. this will give them a fair idea about the, the things. What done, I'm done, going done. To and in they will download it, and it will be with them. And is it your own own a, own material, sir? Like you created this PDF? This, or? this is my own material. Own done, sir. So this, this is my own material. done I'm done. The PDF. Okay, sir. Good, sir. Like your personal notes are there. Yes, sir. Nice. I'm just, it's a, I'm just opening it so, so that you can get a fair idea. And... Uh, sure. And we'll be talking about after this session at ten. Like you have made a PDF. Almost every teacher makes the notes. Every teacher has got their diaries. Like and you make your presentations yes, also. Uh, so, yes, and what we can do is in all the notes or the presentations, we can put those conditions. Like we don't want to put the copyright. We suppose that we want to share things with others, but still. We'll yeah. be giving we'll be giving certain creative con you say commons licenses. We'll talk about it, and every presentation, every PDF that you upload or share in the future will have that thing, and that is a very interesting thing. You'll you'll all love it when it will be shared with you. Uh, yes, sir. You can show the course now. Yeah, this is the this is the material, sir. After yeah, this is the yes yes yes. Nice, sir. You can after that I have mm -hmm. given a web link for them. URL is given. Yeah, Very. so this will take them to a YouTube video where they can get a more idea about the, the course as well. Nice, sir. Nice, sir. Now, see, we, you have not downloaded and uploaded it, so there is no copyright infringement from your side. You have simply shared the link. Yes. So, sharing is allowed, yes, so it is possible also. Yes, sir. Then I have given them a small assignment and uh, having only Hello? two to three questions here. Yes. Uh, so then I've given them uh, assignment. Is it and, urgent? Uh, like I'm in a meeting. Questions, and so that uh, they, they will be uh, well at, at the knowledge whatever they 11, gain. 11 11:30 or one. Right. Hello. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're going the fine. Way, the same way I have gone to the chapter number two mm -hmm. and chapter number three as well as four. Mm hmm. But I have uh, given that the chapter four has to open on 26th April. Very nice. Restricted chapter access. April. Mm -hmm. And chapter two will be from tomorrow. And chapter one is on live now. So they can assess the materials from the chapter one. Nice. Apart from that, I have created the participant list as well. And uh, these are the list of the students in my course. And they will be able to assess the different materials. Uh, like if I look at these things, can you just show me the list once? The participants. Which one, sir? Participants. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Participants. Uh, I'll just yes, check. Sir. I want to see something. Now, see, suppose like this is not for you, but for others, uh, the status is active yes, and they have got last access is never. 
so this thing gives you an idea like those who have logged in and it will tell you like at what time they have logged in 9 hours ago like this person soma reddy student has logged in yes yeah. so in 16 seconds before this you also logged in you are a teacher and a student so this thing will give you an idea and there is a button called status above it you click on it and you sort all the people who have never logged in you make a list of it and you simply send them a reminder that they have not logged okay. in so it helps us to keep a check on students who have accessed it the, the you see you added them as students but they have not like uh, logged in so it helps you knowing it so this is this is a simple way of keeping an eye or the monitoring thing activity can be seen activity log can be seen under participants yes sir uh, this is fine perfect yes sir okay sir thank, thank you, you sir so thank you sir we can move on to next now the screen has announcement okay yes i can see it hmm question forum chat with your teacher okay introduction to analysis offer i am giving some hmm. introduction about the analysis mummy awaaz laga rahi hai eku dadi awaaz laga rahi here the internet is little bit slow hmm hmm right sir sir can i show this pdf i have got to make that screenshot why not you can click on it sir yes sir yes the ppt is visible to us Actually, hmm uh dr gajendran is visible to you sir uh, yes it is visible sir we can actually see this you have placed the link also no, i i can see this i can see the first slide has got your genomio link also sir whether the ppt is visible to you sir yes 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 i saw the ppt yes it is visible yes sir okay sir actually this is my course category mm hmm hmm now you need to get back to the course uh, in the browser i have seen the presentation what is uh yes it's good work you have also shared the presentation with me uh yes it's good work like you're going fine good and while you are creating though uh, the friends who are using windows 10 you can press shift windows button and s s for super i uh, seen it seems for to take a screenshot i was telling you yes uh, there's some internet problem no problem so you have done the work the presentation is uh, like uh, able to ev evident that thing we can move on to next presenter you've done good work good work sir Do dr puru good work dr t k setu ramalingam is presenting ha yeah, sir you you i'm just waiting for the screen to come to me hope it's open uh, yes sir yeah digital combination logic circuits mm -hmm. i have given the announcement to the student about uh, what the students are uh, going to learn in this topic nice sir and then i have given a discussion for chat for the students nice nice and all these descriptions are being made uh, displayed on the page very good sir yes then i have given the introduction about the uh, there is a, this is the introduction topic mm -hmm. for which i have given a page contains a write up about what is logic gate mm -hmm. uh, which a minimum of 100 words i given okay. a small write up over here sir that is good and then i have given an uh, video link it's an entitled video or a youtube video mm hmm external url nice i'm thinking this uh, the student can able to view the video about uh, what is the fundamentals of uh, nice sir logic. nice and see sir uh, my computer friends those who know programming they they know what embedding is i'm sure okay, okay, okay. that they will understand one thing that when we are going to embed something in the websites we need an embedding code and moodle is ha has got that thing that we bring the link only and it embeds it 
that is why like you brought the link and then it's good it's good sir now handouts are there handouts i have uh, provided my material what we have used in my classroom session uh yes uh sir sh nice should i ask you a very straight yes, question uh, with a yes and no do you think yeah. do you think that you will be able to use your moodle site for actual implementation with the students yes or no like will you be able to use it Sir, i already have a moodle content in the oh great for a course which i taught for the student very nice so i'm talking to a fellow teacher then uh for your question i have a i have a resource tool of the moodle zip to format can you able to see this sir ah uh, yes i can M MB oh right nice you have already got this thing nice yeah I, I have. so that's the backup so also i have given yes sir it's a backup for my uh, classroom subject which nice. i got here nice good 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 very nice very nice sir and uh, this is the assignment i have hmm I asked the student to draw the circle cube and uh, do the table contents nice, and sir. upload it in a PDF form. Okay, you document type. Ah, uh, you specified that PDF uh, format or you said any format? Yes, sir. Yes. You specified, sir. Nice. Uh, sir. Document or PDF? Document yeah, or PDF. Sir. Right, right, sir. Right, sir. Document or PDF. Right, sir. Like that, I have given for uh, four different topics, sir. Ah, uh, right, sir. So same pattern has been followed uh, by you. Uh, nice sir this is this is looking perfect like we have been able to see i it. also prepared what you tell me yesterday no mm -hmm. we have to do some quiz content right? uh -huh. so i prepared a set of questions nice so based on today session we can create the questions uh, mm -hmm. in the assessment area sir nice sir uh, can you just click on the top where moodle is written like just to see the dashboard Uh, with the three bar on the left hand side, I just want to see whether your course is visible here. On yes, you can click on dashboard also. Now see, we haven't uh, like the block of course yeah. is added here, but we don't see on the left hand side the link to your course. And some of you are able to see it, some of you have it, some of you don't have it. So this thing will resolve. Uh, one question has come from someone. We'll resolve this thing. If there is anything technical, we'll resolve it. your course is visible by adding the block as uh, you have done sir yes sir uh, yes sir so same thing we suggest to everyone customize your desktop and add a block of course categories and courses meanwhile yes, today last we have done the same sir yes in the block how to uh, the show yes computer. yes 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 i remember sir nice sir i'm glad you you have done very nice things thank you sir. thank you sir uh, so if there is someone else waiting please present Ah, uh, move on to the tab which is there. Hmm. You need to move on to the Moodle administration thing. Yes, sir, Doctor Gajendran. Nice. Ah, uh, you need to unmute yourself so that I can hear you on the screen. Me, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, though you are still unmute i can see your work you have done well you can scroll down to things and we can see this good announcements have been done introduction 
you have added a handout you have added something three phases three phase circuits restricted access to it restricted the access to this nice three phase star good good nice sir nice sir things are fine student one two are the names you have given things are perfectly fine there is just uh, there is one thing to be suggested to everyone like uh, I, i'll demonstrate that thing because uh, in place of restricting access to files or the things one by one suppose you have got four things you have got a page you have got a url you have got an assignment and you also have got a file to download all these four things there is a heading of that particular topic in front of that thing there is another editing button you can restrict access to the complete module or the topic also rather than uh, if you do not like want to put separate dates of opening so if you block one only restrict one segment so it it gets blocked for everyone now this is fine now this is 103 so how to make a course visible dr sabita that is the way like we decided that we'll customize the dashboard and then we'll bring the course on the dashboard so that happens uh, so i guess uh, you allow me to move on to the presentation that i wanted to share with you all the presentation relates to creative commons before that if you want something which is really stopping you from understanding what we did yesterday you can kindly ask there are primarily three things number one going to genomeo and making a website then the other thing was after making the website you reach the home page you go to site administration then you go and manage the categories you create a category you hide the miscellaneous category you create a category and then instantly you create a course for you and the moment you create a course you decide whether it is going to be weekly or it is going to be something which is not weekly but a topic wise one i'm sharing my screen with you also so that i can demonstrate this thing to you so this is about this is the thing that we had created you go to site administration after landing on the home page this is task 1 task 0 is that let me show you the task 0 that way that can be done later on you go to this segment and this segment is what this segment is where you have got the profile change and all these things you may do this photograph and something in the profiles one and then you move on to site administration in the site administration we jump to courses and in the courses segment we create a category create a course in the course one so there are primary two things that i wish that you people keep your eyes on on the users and the courses so in the courses one you manage add a category or manage the categories of the courses already made this manage thing appears only when you have made something but if you have not made something it won't appear so add a category then this thing doctor uh, one of the teachers shared with us that he already has got a course running and he had the backup so suppose you already have a backup being made by you of some course shared by someone or you took the backup earlier you can restore the backup of that mbz file also that is a semi advanced thing that we people can learn now users after creating the course again site administration then users then you can add one user or you can upload the users so these things we have done yesterday once you make them users please remember they are being made users not participants so to make them participants you need to add them as participants in a particular course that you are offering so what we do is we upload the users we come to the dashboard and once we have reached the dashboard then we can see that the name and all these things have been changed we already have created a course this way or we can use this one this is the customize this page thing that i was talking about dashboard this is the course you enter your course virtual teaching training for teachers or any other course that you have made you uh, the moment you open your course you can see this thing on the left hand side participants you click on participants because you have successfully added users to your website 
now these users can be enrolled as participants you click on this enroll button then here those names will appear no suggestions because i have not added anyone so when you are adding them you select their name it appears here and then you select the role you want to suppose you are adding a fellow teacher you are adding a non editing teacher who will only take the classes like if you are you have got some research scholars under you and you want them to take some classes also so they can be added as teachers they'll take some special sessions if you can make someone else course admin also and then you can also set that from when they will display themselves as in their role so this was the enrollment of users and then we have created a course also so we go to the general thing and then we'll display everything on the screen now this is the course that we had created restricted access is here but suppose now the very first thing if i intend to edit something i go here i turn the editing on so when the editing has been turned on now what i'm doing is everything is editable now i can move them i can drag them i can make a proper sequence that a page should go there first and then a url can go then a quiz can go then an interactive activity can go so i know the flow of my own lecture so i manage it suppose i want to like restrict everything under this moodle thing ma'am is it like visible and going fine Yeah, yes ma'am fine fine ma'am now this is moodle so what i do rather than restricting everything i'll simply go to this edit button rather than se go, se separately like doing something i'll go here i'll edit my topic so this is why like uh, one of our teachers has written chapters it is completely your prerogative your you say willingness to call it a chapter or a topic or a subtopic see i have opened my topic see the topic is moodle i have not given a summary of the topic though i can write a summary now this is restrict access for the topic i am adding a, a restriction the restriction that i am adding is 20 second for the topic so from 20 second i am saving the changes this is restricting the complete topic and there are three or four you say segments in it now you can see this moodle thing has got restricted till 22nd of april the topic is restricted these because i am the owner so i can see that what is here but still these things will not open for the student because the whole topic is restricted so we'll go here we'll do a revision where i'll be removing this restriction you go here restrict access there is only one option under the topic either like one two options one is about section name and summary and the other one is this now see if you have seen this this particular text box appears everywhere wherever we have got some descriptions so please remember these are the options like suppose i want to make a large heading so the large heading is there heading so we can make it bold also we can put a bullet and a number also you can put a hyperlink also now when like you 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 select a text and then you click here and then suppose i i do this this then i click here and then i say create a link and i want to open it i want my user to open it in new window so new window is suggested so that they don't lose this tab this tab remains they, they will not need to create uh, click on the back button so create a link now this heading is clickable i can click on it and then it will take me to another one i can put an image repository or you you upload it then uh, there is a thing called record an audio start recording good morning everyone we are talking about how to manage the headings of the topics and we know that rather than restricting each topic one by one we can completely restrict the topic itself done good morning everyone we are talking about so, how to manage this the is, headings of the topics and we know that rather than restricting each topic so uploaded to moodle and then added here so audios should be used by you we teachers are comfortable at speaking rather than like video recording everyone may not be able to record the video so i would suggest that go for the audio thing your voice is known to the t to the students along with the words that you use on the board so those things will go fine i'm saving the changes so this this audio thing and video insertion image insertion all these things are possible 
almost everywhere in all the pages wherever description is there now you can see the restriction has not been changed but the heading has got an audio good morning everyone we are talking about now you can see and heading it has got a hyperlink also as two of our friends had asked yesterday if i click here you see this website opens because there was a hyperlink so this is what we had done till yesterday add activity and resource and then you get those options these assignment chat choice database external tool and all these things are there please remember external tools or some extra plugins are possible only when they are being installed they are being installed on the Moodle site and because our Moodle site is hosted on Genomeo so it we are supposed to depend on them which one is being allowed by them at present these are the visible ones we can explore Moodle cloud and later on when you host it on your own domain then you get the actual freedom of installing everything that you want to be it attendance certificate be it other big blue big blue button or something big blue button is not part of this so at present it is not being shared with you glossary you should try everyone who's going to work on engineering or science subjects make a glossary as well it's quite easy if you want it can be demonstrated right now i click on glossary i l i'm going to click on add the glossary is going to be added to one of the topics it can also be added to any module that you want i'll say internet v o c a b u l a r y this is this display description of this on the course page i'll say no is this glossary global global means no. please remember this blue button with a question mark is the helpful button for us it's our friend so we click here a global glossary has entries which are linked to from throughout the site rather than only in the course that the glossary is in only administrators can set a glossary as global like you are making a glossary which is applicable on all the topics or it is particular to one topic if i'm inserting it in unit number two or topic number two and i click on global so the glossary goes to the whole course it relates to the whole course now glossary type is secondary or it is the main glossary i'll say the main glossary and it is this entries how many appearance grade rating blah 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 all these things are almost the same so now this thing is here now see what i'll do i have created the glossary introduction introduction means i'm creating this particular uh, you say segment i'm going to save and return to the course you will ask now how to add those words to it once i have created this particular segment it appears somewhere internet vocabulary is my glossary this is the name i have given and i'll click here now and see now what will open now it will allow me to make those entries and all those things now here i can make the entries add a new entry search full text you allow them to search but add, see this is on all and this button will remain with you and the students also you simply click here and you go to any segment of your course so this is the navigation which is there with us so what i'm doing is i am going to add something to a and but there is nothing in the a segment so like i'll add it first and then people will be able to find it so adding a new entry we are working on glossary i have named it internet vocabulary what is the concept the concept is www now what is www is www is the world wide web i guess it uh invention by so in came in 2002 or 2001 or somebody can help me out and then now we have we are into web 202.0 or there was a world wide web web 1.0 now is world wide web so this is the glossary and please remember the concept is starts with the w and then i'm not adding an image to it i'm not adding keywords but i can add the keywords so that these keywords will allow them to search now keywords like the alices of something suppose they search for 
uh, www or they search for something so you can add these tags also i'm not using all these things i'm just saving it just to show one example of it and please remember we have added something with w now if i go to this w see we have clicked on all so all will appear here if i click on a now it goes in search and says there is nothing with an a but i'll say www is what or in thermodynamics or in physics or in something they search for it and now here i have got the entry for glossary now this is the glossary thing now this is the edit settings for the glossary if you remember now this is the glossary global and those things we had done so this is about adding the glossary i am just jumping out of this and going to the course again just to tell you where the glossary is i will speak how i added now the glossary has been added somewhere here but i feel the glossary has been added here but it should not be placed here why not take it to the top of it or take it to the announcement itself so this is what i'm doing i'm simply dragging it from one segment to another segment so this is what like we can do internet vocabulary is here or i can take it to the announcement also so this is what we do this is and, and then i turn the editing off when i am turning the editing off it goes to the student if somebody has got some question you can kindly like i'm, I'm just moving on to uh, once stop my screen sharing and then look at uh, the chat if there are certain questions that you can answer after this we are going to work on uh, creative commons we'll be talking about something else also dr ag made the two doubts the course is not visible on the left side how to add the users in bulk i'm answering the second question first you go to site administration in the site administration dr ag matthew what you do is you click on users and then you find upload users you find upload users and uh, you click on it it will ask you to upload a csv file the format i have shared with you the format can also be find found on internet it should be csv file with the username proposed by you the first name the last name and the email id of the student you upload that file because you have not inserted the password so once you upload that file there there means site administration users upload users and then you upload that file there are certain options which will come and you will read and you will understand them so it will create them as users they will not get a notification after ad getting added as users but when you will go to your course and add them as participants only then they will get a notification that they have been added as an as a participant and this is the automatically generated password and the username for them uh, yeah, i got it sir i added it yesterday's file i added it now uh, okay sir it is coming it is coming sir yeah. that file is there and there are certain yeah. more options sir you can even create those sections like cohorts in the files we are working on the basics huh. so i have insisted only three things first name say the student details email id and the username by you uh -huh. even the password can also be uh, set by you there are so many things but like we are keeping it common for everyone the course is not visible on the left side at present i have suggested that we edit the dashboard and just get it on the dashboard by customizing the blocks adding the block i'll just, just drag and place it uh, into the block ah uh, yeah yes it 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 is done okay your question came at 10 nine uh, presentation not received uh, the, the i have what i could do dr sam uh, i have uploaded all the three videos which have been there so i guess that's the presentation that i could share because everything is there in the video uh, taking screenshots of the video and making a powerful presentation will make me feel very slow uh, how to add questions in a multiple choice we are going to move on it for sure that's night out uh, i tried to add users it is not reflecting dr beam kumar will assist you sir in the hands on session after tea uh, can glossary be added in at a time uh, dr shrinivas rao i didn't get your question you can add glossary to every topic you can update your glossary any time 
you can add one glossary for the whole mod whole course also you can add one glossary to everywhere you can have two glossaries like you are adding one glossary for physics one for uh, you say thermodynamics in the same course that's your wish you are going to name the glossary so i named it internet glossary so it came is it possible to copy the class to some other class with a different course code yes sir you simply take the backup of the course as uh, uh, one of the faculty shared with us you keep a backup of it i'll just i i can demonstrate you how to take a backup uh, you you keep your question in your mind do ask it when we'll be demonstrating things i'll show you that's a very nice thing that's an easy one you restore you keep a backup and then you restore it there is some technicality in restoring the backup so that in which you will need some assistance will will also help you later uh, presentation video audio not received uh, dr sam i'm not able to get what presentation in video and audio you're talking about prepare a account announcement and notes but after save and return nothing is on display save and return nothing on display dr abdul ahad we need to check it out with you through your screen also post t you do share your screen and then we'll will help you not a problem how to add books now uh, keep a keep a book like click on it dr gajendran click on add an activity see when you add a book first you give a title to that thing and then you give a description then that thing appears in your course page then you click on it as we clicked on the glossary segment and then you see how it wants the upload the upload is being treated as a book by it i i'll demonstrate that thing also one word at a time and all words at a time sir in glossary uh, dr shrinivas it is your wish the the glossary if the by default it is clicked on all so if the if you click on a b c d it appears because if there are 100 words so rather than scrolling down as see dictionary has got so many words on one page it's like a dictionary that way there is no presentation dr mp now suppose there are 100 words on one page then clicking all will not help somebody wants to search or somebody wants to go alphabetical so that way it is possible whether students can access my site anywhere of course 101% because it is online so anything which is online can be accessed anywhere presentation not visible because it is not being shown whether students can access my site anywhere yes dr prashanthman it can be done now if there are any more questions i have missed can a glossary there are two questions one was about how to enroll students dr lumal i am and role student i guess we have done it multiple times you do look at the video sir the which has been shared course is not visible we are, we are going to work on it before that bulk users okay uh, for your sake i'll i'll use this thing let me share the screen now i'm going to do only two things now before moving on one is adding the bulk users and you can switch on your audio that way i'll go to site administration after clicking here i'll go to site administration and show you how bulk users are being added if you people have not downloaded the file from the whatsapp group the csv file please remember the first column will be user name the second column will be the first name the third column is the last name and the fourth column is the email id these four things are required save as a csv file and then upload it to moodle where you click on site administration i have requested everyone to make teams also if you have got friends who are known to you colleagues from the same campus around you so make a sort of a group yourself and then you can also like clarify things site administration like if you say this is site administration and then it takes me to courses and after courses i move on to upload users so this is what i have talked about now i'll erase it and if you remember this thing keeping an eye i'll move on to upload users i go to upload users and simply the thing comes here oh upload courses has been clicked wait i was misreading just because of having more concentration or focus this is the user 
this is upload users you can see this upload users you click on upload users under users and then it will ask you to upload the csv file after that the process is not difficult you click <coughs> here you attach a file and then you get your users so experiment with it site administration users upload a file upload a csv file only or a notepad we are not sharing with you the notepad version it will not confuse you people who are in the advanced stage of learning they can take assistance 28 format for bulk users upload this so this is one format or i have shared another one with you i guess 21 tlc c80 document there is something now this is a format suppose this is a csv file i upload it and then these users will come so this is what i have done there's another question which was shared uh, learn easy course is not visible on the left side but i'm insisting that it is visible at the center so let's work on development of the course it will come on the left side also how to embed a url okay ppt is i'm not showing the presentation so it is not visible how can you increase the sections after the course page is saved very good question uh, we did not like mention it much now this is the dashboard of my course which is opening i go to the course this is the dashboard of me as a user so there is only one course here so one is visible let me tell you how to add the topics and you can also hide certain topics there is a possibility that you don't want to teach a particular topic so what you do you hide it now these are all the topics which are visible now i'll go to turn editing on turn editing on and then here it is at the bottom whosoever asked at the bottom there is a thing called add topics so add a topic from here and the topic is added if you want to hide a particular topic you can hide a particular topic also that uh, it is being hidden from students if you can see this so you can hide and or you can show you can delete also you can delete it also you can highlight it also so we are not changing much uh, another question is how can you increase the sections okay i have done it uh, audio is on for one of the faculty where the students can access my site one word at a time done how to add books just a second content creation let's go to adding a book it says a book module um, the mo book module sir ko bolie audio off rakhe the now we are going to adding a new book now see adding a new book means that you are providing them with a readable thing so book on grammar description i'm not giving this is appearance common module and something something all these things are in a sort of a let's say common to everyone i'm saving in return to the course i am creating a particular module or a segment then i will get into the segment and will do with it what i need to do or what i have like in mind like we created a glossary first and then we went to the glossary as the admins of it and then we made those changes so i'm making a book the book is somewhere in 333 moodle and file and then here is a book on grammar let me click here now you can see what is going to be there chapter title sub chapter only available once the first chapter has been created i n t r o d u c t i o n o e n g l a n english l a n g language only available sub chapters first chapter has been created then i can create sub chapters i'm saving the changes for the chapter one okay description is required i didn't put the description introduction to english language chapter one
now introduction to english grammar chapter 1 what do i want to do is i want to like uh, edit something else i want to add something else that is my thing i can take chapters up or down that is again with me now see this is table of contents for the book this is settings this is delete this is hide and this is what add a new chapter that was chapter 1 i'm adding a new chapter now all this thing has come when you clicked on add activity or resource then you click selected a book after selecting a book you gave the book a particular chapter name like i gave introduction to english then you give a small description and then you also clicked on that there are sub chapters so you say chapter 2 chapter 2 as still there is a, like this is a sub chapter of the book sub chapter means a segment of chapter like 3.1 3.2 now see can you see this 1 1.1 so if you people have found it interesting that you can create a book this is perfectly fine the contents can be added in uh, where the description was there as well now what i'll do i'll move on to this first chapter and bring to you what exactly i was talking about this is what the first chapter is i'll go to the edit settings and then i'll give a description of it i'll go back because the contents and the images and all these things are there in the chapter here i create my chapter i upload certain books or certain pdfs or something here and then i save and display so this is one thing about chapter creation now we'll work in the hands on session again on this some people some among you will try the book thing also now this is chapter 2 chapter 1 we said chapter 2 is 1.1 so this is whatever we added is being displayed here now let me go to moodle the topic in which we had added a chat box uh, you say things here we have added a book on grammar here and how it will look to the student this is the last thing before i move on for 20 minutes explanation of creative commons and some resources which are free and you can use them now you will need to keep an eye on those websites which are being shown to you from where you can take uh, free royalty free images or royalty free audios for your videos and i'll also share with you a video editing software now this is what we have got for the students if i click on book on grammar and i am treating myself as a student this is what i see there is no content being placed in the description so of course then i cannot look at anything i click here i go to chapter number 2 so these are the book chapters we can insert sort of a book like this is the, on a page they have to scroll down it remains as one piece but what is good about book is they can keep on looking from one chapter to another chapter